It's finally the weekend of the Derby d'Italia, and this year's Derby has more hype than ever before. With Juventus, Inter, and Lazio fighting to take the Scudetto at the end of the season, this weekend's match could define the future. I found an Inter fan among thousands of Roma fans in Rome to sit and talk about the rivalry this year. He just so happened to be a familiar face at our hotel, Poesis Experience. Today we are at the Poesis Hotel Experience Hotel. I am the chef here. In this hotel is a small hotel. Everything is new. In this hotel we have uh, only eight rooms. You are in the center of room. Since we were in Rome, I thought we would only find fans from either Lazio or Roma. But there was more to this city of two teams than we expected. Talk to me a little bit about this, because I see you're wearing some black and white stripes <laughs> on your chef outfit. Okay, first is my preferred color, is uh, blue and black. And at uh, 2005, when I'm coming to live Italian, because I'm from original Tunisia, I see one match uh, football. Inter and I like the t-shirt uh, black and uh, blue. Wow, it's good. And next I I noticed not player, uh, Italian player. And now I am really, really crazy fan for Inter. Mo fell in love with Inter because as an immigrant, he related to the fact that all their players came from around the world. Today, he's fallen in love with Inter because of the passion and the rivalries that this team inspires. With Inter we have Juve and Milan. Milan because Inter and Milan we have city of Milan. Yes. When you have played in the derby, you have more and more rivalry. With the Juventus because when you play Inter and Juve, his name is Derby of Italia, Derby d'Italia. After the break, more on the Derby d'Italia and the Juve versus Inter rivalry. This year's Derby d'Italia is one of the most awaited matches of the year. Will this weekend define the rest of the season for one of these two teams? Right now, obviously, Juventus has won for so many years. Yes, for eight years. This is the season where you guys can actually take this. So talk to me about that rivalry that Inter fans feel against Juventus. Okay, in the last 10 years, 10 years, um, Inter club is uh, not good. Uh, every year we have a problem. Every year we have uh, Juventus is so so strong uh, like a uh, team. But this year maybe have uh, is uh, is so uh, so beautiful looking because maybe we have a chance yeah. <laughs> for win. Of course. I don't know. I hope yes. <laughs> In this area is it's not simple. Go to goal. Uh, is uh, more tactical, more defensive tactic. Each fan has different memories, different moments that make them fall in love with their team. As this derby leaves more memories, what moments made you fall in love with Serie Last year's last uh, derby with uh, Icardi to in the 1-0, it crossed to Vicino, crossed the, the ball and Icardi with the <laughs> the head. Yeah. It's going. Uh, this is very good. Another, um, my favorite time I see it is 2010, final Champions League at Madrid, uh, Inter vs Bayern Monaco, 2 0. <laughs> Two goal from uh, with Milito. Right there, Mili. Oh, this is my favorite that's moment. Your, that's yes. the favorite moment. Yes, because in 2010 we are win in Serie A. Uh, Coppa Italia and Champions League, triplete. Earning the treble was huge for Inter, but will we see another trophy for them this year? Only time will tell. For now, enjoy the rest of the match on TLN. <laughs> 